All right, so I got these router bit storage inserts from Rockler as a freebie in my workbench con bag. Figured these should help me clean up this tray and not have bits randomly banging against each other. So I just did it really fast on the terminal here. I uh, first drew the perimeter size and then I made some little rectangles that uh, show me an offset from the edge that uh, I want my bits to be. You know, I don't want them too close to the edge. So I just drew one rectangle and copied it and rotated it, put it wherever I want. And then I could place the holes for the bits tangent to those lines and then delete those rectangles right afterwards so they're gone. Then I want to put the tool path in the right place so it cuts on the right side of the line. And just double checked it with air cut, which doesn't run the bit in the wood, it just runs it above the wood. So after I set the depth properly and I set auto pass up, I um, was ready to go. So this is called Helix, and it is one continuous pass that will get you to your ultimate depth that you're trying to achieve. Um, this cut makes, um, it just makes it fast. It seems really simple. So of course the hole was perfect, first try. And repeat, and if you, uh, look in the hole and it's not perfectly clean, just cut it again. Or if um, you go outside of the line and it stops, you just cut it again, it's that easy. It always cuts in the same place. So once the holes were done, then I uh, parted the piece off of the, you know, the big piece of plywood uh, using auto pass, which is like the helix. Um, one continuous pass, see, there's no start and stop or anything like that. It just drops the bit down a little bit more each pass and you can take uh, the appropriate amount of wood off for what you're trying to do. Not too much, not too little. And because I set the bit depth just a few thousand thinner than the piece, I left what's called an onion skin, which is just basically a transparent layer of wood that you can pretty much just break off with your fingers, a um, pencil or a blade or whatever you want. Um, then you can just sand it clean or take a knife to it or a router or whatever you want. And these inserts are cool. They'll take either a quarter inch or a half inch bit. And um, unlike wood, they're not going to squeeze too tight on your bit in the middle of summer when it's all humid or rattle around in the winter when it's all dry. So they should keep the bits secure when I move them around and should be good. Thanks, Rockler.